Hello fellow Star Wars fans and welcome to the channel. My name is Star Raptor and today we're going to be talking about that big duel between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series and how that relates very directly with the duel between Ahsoka Tano and Darth Vader in the Star Wars Rebels season two finale. So before we get involved with this, obviously there will be spoilers for the series finale for Obi-Wan Kenobi. Make sure if you like this video, you go ahead and subscribe and tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. With that done and out of the way, let's dive right in. So if you are not familiar, if you have not watched Star Wars Rebels, it has a very similar resolution to what has happened in Obi-Wan Kenobi. And well, basically they both end up the same way, just like in Obi-Wan where the helmet of Vader sliced off and you see a semblance of Anakin he is saying at that point that he has killed Anakin he is not Darth Vader and he will do the same to Obi-Wan we look back at Star Wars Rebels obviously Ahsoka was the Padawan of Anakin Skywalker and she's trying to get to Vader on this ancient Sith planet called Malachor and the same thing happens she slices the helmet of Darth Vader and reveals Anakin's semblance and well he also says the same, same thing I destroyed Anakin Skywalker and I will kill you as well so we have those same two kind of parallel things that have happened in history my question to you is do you think that this you know cheapens the resolution in the Obi-Wan Kenobi series since we have sort of seen this same thing play out already Personally, I feel like this was a little bit of a letdown for me because I'm watching this and yeah, I'm having kind of like deja vu, like we've been here before, haven't we? So for me, it kind of took away from that experience. But then I'm also looking at it as well as, hey, we've seen that Vader two times now has been trying to return to the light, but it was really his own son that was the final piece to actually get him to become redeemed. So in a way, I could also see it being very valuable when you look at it from the entire standpoint. But overall, I really did enjoy this fight between Obi-Wan and Vader. I think it should have been, or I would have liked to see it rather in a location that had a little bit more pizzazz, right? You know, people were throwing out the theories all over the place. Naboo, Mustafar, we just got like a... Uh, kind of normal-ish, generic-looking rock spire location that wasn't Tatooine. Okay, but getting back to the crux of this, I want to hear your opinions. Do you think that this was too similar in Obi-Wan Kenobi to the Star Wars Rebels episode, Twilight of the Apprentice Part 2? Let's discuss it in the comment section down below. For more on Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're already in the right place. You can check out my podcast, Outer Rim Transmission, where we will be talking about this series in more depth in our reviews there so make sure you subscribe that's gonna do it for me star but thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video i also include two videos down below you guys should check out and please consider subscribing to this channel it helps support me and it notifies you guys of when i get new videos up on the channel you can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Star Raptor.